Hi everybody! Welcome to Keyboard Games Book B. Today we're going to look at page three, Creepy Crawly. But before we do, let's sing the hello song. German folk song. And while I do, would you please help me make boundaries for a large imaginary glass box? So think about, okay, here's where the sides are going to be. Here's the other side. Here's the roof. Can you gently touch the walls of the box? like you could, in a magic way, change the color of the walls of the box. So you do that while I sing. for singing the resting tone. We're going to sing some tonal patterns in minor tonality. La, mi, do, la, si, la. Go ahead and sing these after me. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, and then breathe. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Wait, and breathe. Bum, bum. La, mi, do. Wait and breathe. La, mi, do. Ti, mi. Wait and breathe. Ti, mi. Si, ti, mi. Wait and breathe. Si, ti, mi. Do, mi, la. Do, mi, la. Thank you. I'm going to do a chant that's called movie night. While I do this, would you help me move your shoulders? Let's see, how do we move this way? We're going to move our shoulders to the macro beats. So I'm going to give you some beats before we start. Do da dee do, move with me. Ba 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 Now keep moving. Can you chant after me? Ba 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 Thank you. That's a lot of patterns. We have so many different ways that we can do those patterns. Those are called divisions. Bum 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 ba 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 bum bum bum. While I sing swinging, would you help me move to the macro beats by taking large steps? Here we go. singing that resting tone with me. I'm going to sing something before the song. You can just listen. You can do
do whatever dance you want while I sing the pug. Now you can just listen again. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Let's go ahead and come to, well, I'm going to come over this way, but you're not going to yet. I'm going to sing a song that's going to help us get ready for our song today that we're learning at the, the piano, which is called Creepy Crawly. So, I'm going to sing a song and I'd like for you to move like a slow snake in the dark. Can you do that? the melody of our song, I'd like for you to creep on the floor. Can you creep along on the floor? You can lie down, you can be on your stomach if you'd like. So can you creep along on the floor? to do. So I'd like for you to help me. We're going to do a dance in the air that will help us practice this song. Can you put this hand, this happens to be your right hand, put that up in the air and put your other hand, which happens to be your left hand, down lower. And can you help me chant the rhythm patterns? They sound like this. Do da dee, do da dee. So notice that I start with the hand that's on top, and we're going to do doodadies. Let's do it a few times. Ready and chant with me. Do da dee, do da dee. Do da dee, do da dee. Thank you. Let's do it one more time. Can you help me feel the lilting motion as one of our hands pats do and then the other hand pats do? Think about how it feels for one hand to pat do and then for the other hand to do it. So we're going to do this again. Do da dee, ready, pat. Do da dee, do da dee. 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 And we don't have to smack the one that's do. It's not very nice anyway. But we just feel that that's happening. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to review our song from last week, which was The Big Black Bear. So go ahead and come to the keyboard, sit nice and tall. Remember to take a look in your book to find the keys so you remember where to start. Make sure you use your middle finger and notice the starting key and we're gonna come one direction and then back the other way. After we have our four doodaddies, we're going to leap back to the beginning, start over, and end on do, using our rhythm pattern change up here. This is loud and slow. Do daddy play with me. Do daddy. chance.
chanting last time. Could you chant while you play with me again? Remember that you can stand at the keyboard or you can sit nice and tall, check your distance. Your knuckles, when your fists are out like that, should be touching the fall board. We call that because it falls. Or if you don't have a fall board, then it should be right in line with the edge of the keys. Also, your arms should be at a height that your arms are level. So if that means, if your arms look like this, that means you should sit on something or stand so that you can be at a nice level spot at the keyboard. Let's do that one more time together. Do daddy play with me? songs before we come back to the keyboard. I'm going to do a chant called Prancing Colt. While I do this chant, I'd like for you to help me move your arms to the micro beats. Let me think about the speed here. About this speed. So it's from your shoulder all the way down and your fingertips are going to pat on your sides. I feel like my arms are like penguin, penguin arms, wings. Do day do, here we go. Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, ba 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 ba, ba ba ba. As you're moving, try to make sure that your fingertips are very quiet on your sides. If you're hearing this sound, Oh, don't do that. We want to be able to hear the chant and we always want our beats that we're making to be very quiet so we can keep them inside. I'll chant a pattern, you chant after me. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. 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 Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. And remember when I do this, this is your cue to breathe and be ready to chant back. I'm gonna sing festive dance. I'd like for you just to enjoy the song. You can just listen or you can do a dance while I sing. And then after we're done, I'm going to chant a rhythm from the song and I'm going to ask for you to chant it with me. We'll do it a few times. Do, so, me. Do, 
Keyboard, we're going to start an improv activity and then we're going to finish it after we do a few more songs. So I would like for you to think about a rainy day. Can you think about that? Just stop and imagine that in your mind. Now can you play some different places on the piano and figure out what place on the piano sounds like a rainy day to you? what sounds like a rainy day. Once you've made your choice, can your helper at home, an adult helper or an older sibling, please get a piece of paper and something to write with. So go ahead and pause this if you need to, to grab a piece of paper and something to write with. And then I'd like for you to decide what the dynamic of your rainy day is. Is it loud or soft? Or think about it could be very loud or very soft or a little loud or a little soft so that gives you six options what's the volume of your rainy day and then go ahead and have your helper write that down and then I'd like for you to think about what's the speed of your rainy day is it going to be fast is it going to be slow is it going to be very fast, or very slow, or a little fast, or a little slow? So think about that. And then have your helper write that down. So now you've got two things you're thinking about. And then I'd like for you to choose a rhythm pattern. So we're going to do duple meter, I'll choose for you this time, and I'll give you choices for your rhythm. So you could do anything with macro beats and micro beats. You could do do day do. You could do 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 day. Do day do day. Or do do. And that'll be in whatever speed you chose. So if it's very fast, do day do day. If it's very slow, do day do. If it's a little fast, do, do, day. A little slow, do, day, do. So think about what rhythm pattern you'd like to do and then have your helper write that down. And to the helper, the way that we spell do is D-U. The way that we spell day is D-E, just like in Spanish. So D-U for do and D-E for day. Go ahead and have your helper write down your rhythm pattern. And then we'll collect all of that information and we'll use that in a little bit. But in the meantime, we're going to sing four more songs. So this is Astro. Alright, we're going to use some rounded flowing arm movements for each phrase. So that's each part of the song. Go ahead and move with me. Bum ba ba 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 bum ba ba bum ba 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 bum ba 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 ba. Now we're gonna sing. Leaves are falling. If you know these songs, feel free to join in. If you don't, that's totally fine. You don't need to. If you want to learn these songs, these are in the very end of the audio tracks that go with your book. So these four songs are at the end of the audio tracks for book A. These are some familiar songs from book A. And the rest of the songs and chants that we're doing are in the audio tracks for book B. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum,
bum, bum. Can you please move in a bound way like you're trying to push through honey? Think about that. Think about how thick honey is. Think about what it would feel like to push your arms through that. Would you help me do a light, gentle, crooked dance? Because this song is a little bit crooked. Now we're going to do Dalmatian dance. Would you do a dance for two hands in front of your chest? keyboard. Remember those things that you wrote down. So find the spot on the piano that you want to use for your rainy day. I'm going to use right over here. Think about the speed that you're going to use. I'm going to go a little fast. Think about the, uh, the dynamics that you're going to use. How loud or how soft will it be? Mine is going to be a little loud. And then think about the rhythm pattern that you're going to use. So I'm going to use do day, do day. So here's mine. Do day, do, here I go. as many times as you want to do so that it feels right to you. So have your helper help you think about those choices and go ahead and do your improvisation. Just pause the video so you can take as much time as you want. Go ahead and pause. I hope that every day when you practice that you make up a new rainy day song. You can think about those things all over again. Think about what part of the piano you want. And depending on how you're thinking about your rainy day, it could be a different part of the piano every day. Think about your dynamics, how loud or soft. Think about your speed, how fast or slow. And think about your rhythm pattern, something in duple meter using do and do day, your macro beats and micro beats. Now we're going to play Creepy Crawly. We're going to work on this. So what I'd like you to do is, before you think about where on the piano you're going to play, we're going to practice a special move that we need for this song. So you're going to need your right hand or this hand to be playing three black keys. We're going to play one at a time but you're going to need to have a wrist that is higher than usual. Feel your arm from your shoulder all the way down, picking up your hand to move it from one note to the next. Can you try that please? Go ahead and play that with me. And I know it feels funny to have a high wrist like that. We normally don't do that. The reason we're doing that is because then your other hand is going to play three white keys right underneath. And it's going to use a pretty flat wrist. This is flatter than we normally have. Feel your arm moving your hand from one key to the next. 
And the three white keys that I'm using are the three white keys that are marked on page three, creepy crawly. So when you put it together, you have your high wrist here and your flat wrist here, then your hands don't get in the way of each other when we go to play. Let's try that. So notice your S1 and your S2. Find the spot on the keyboard. Remember, S2 is where you're, you start with the first hand. S2 is where you start with the second hand. And we're going to be slow and soft. We're chanting do da dee, do da dee. So play with me. Do da dee, do da dee. Let's do that again. Ready now, play with me. Do da dee, do da dee. Now, I'm going to play the whole song for you so you can hear what this sounds like for the whole song, and then we'll try some more. Notice how your hands look. Watch my hands while I play. Do da dee, here I go. Do da dee, do da dee. 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 So check your hands as you play and make sure you're looking at what they look like. Now here's what happens if you don't have your high wrist, low wrist. If this wrist is just kind of normal, then this wrist is just kind of normal. Your hands are sitting on top of each other and they just get in the way. Or if they're both high or if they're both low, you have the same problem. So, High wrist, low wrist, and we won't always play like this. All right, so notice we play this pattern two times, and then we move over to our second spot, an octave lower, and we play that two times. I'm gonna play, you go ahead and try and play some of that with me. At least play the beginning. Do da dee, play with me. Do da dee, do da dee. 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 There's one other thing for you to notice about my hands that you can do is that the, the hand that's playing the white keys Keep that toward the edge of the white keys. Again, you're just trying to get your hands away from each other so that they don't get in the way. You notice my hand that's on the black keys is kind of in the middle of the black keys. I'm not all the way at the end. And if they were playing, even with the high wrist, low wrist, they're still getting pretty close to each other right now. So if I move in the middle of the black key and then way to the edge of the white key, there's lots of space, even for my big hands, lots of space. So go ahead and practice that move, practice how that feels. And if you're not ready to play the whole piece, that's totally fine or you're not ready to chant yet, but think about how your hands look, think about where they are on the keyboard, and think about that do da dee, do da dee. So you practice any of that for as much as you need, and then you can come back to this part on the video and you can play it with me, or you can listen to track three for the, from the audio tracks that go with this book, which I hope you listen to anyway this week. So go ahead and listen to that this week and play the song with that. Now, we have one other thing that we're going to do before we stop today. We're going to play, we're going to go back to Keyboard Games Book A, and we're going to play The Apple and the Worm. 
This is on page two. So this is the second song that we learned in Keyboard Games Book A. So go ahead and look for the keys. Look for the two hands. You're gonna use both hands for this song, for this piece. You're gonna use your middle finger in each hand. Notice that this is a little loud. It's not too slow. And our rhythm pattern is do, day, do, day. So I'll show you what it looks like. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Let's go ahead and try that again. I might be a little bit fast. So this time, I'd like for you to try to play. So on the S1, on that first hand, we're going back and forth. And we do the same thing with the other hand. Let's play together. Do, day, do, play with me. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Let's do it one more time and I'll play the duet part with you. Do, duet part. But now it's time for the goodbye song. Bye, bye, goodbye. Bye, bye, goodbye. What a shame we're ending today. Next time we will sing and play. Bye, bye, goodbye. Bye, bye, goodbye. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.